In today's video, we talk about Devon's 240 and the upgrades that he's done to it. He's installed an Origin Lab body kit and is currently upgrading the chassis to handle all the extra horsepower and grip. Stay tuned for updates about Devon's 240SX. I finally got back to it a little bit. Putting a thinner piece of Lexan on the carbon hatch. Uh, I found what works best while I'm using rib nuts and then these countersunk bolts with this flat washer. I'm drilling three holes, so I start with a really small bit. This is like 5.30 seconds that I'm going up to a quarter inch, and that's for the bolt to go through. And then the rib nut is actually a 3 eighths. So kind of spacing these out evenly. Uh, I tried one up here, but the hatch is too thick in that spot where uh, the rib nut goes through so it can't compress all the way. There's one in there, but it's still a little loose. I'll just put a bolt and a washer in there anyways and go from there. What's up guys? So my GK Tech stuff just showed up. Pretty much ordered the whole darn catalog. So I'm gonna start taking this front apart to replace the knuckles, lower control arms. I uh, got the new high clearance sway bar. I uh, got the upper coilover plates. Uh, what else? I got a handbrake. I got all the rear stuff, rear lower control arms, upper control arms, knuckles, subframe uh, solid bushings. I got the reinforcement plates. Um, oh yeah, I also got a hood. Black Friday. Um, let's see. Oh boy, rear knuckles, handbrake, a steering wheel, inner outer tie rods, basically everything you could get pretty much. So I got the rear subframe out, I dropped it with everything attached, I just took the coilovers out, the drive shaft and had to remove the exhaust to clear, then just unhook the brakes so hopefully can get this puppy cleaned up and powder coated hopefully it's not too bad she's pretty pretty rusty but we'll see I guess So what are we doing here, Devin? Uh, so I got the GK Tech uh, weld-in subframe plates. So we are in the process of 
welding in those plates. <laughs> nice. Um, I also got all the arms. So we're putting in the arms. So like once you put these plates in place, you make sure that there's clearance for the articulation of the arms. So mm -hmm. it doesn't bind or nothing. And so the spacing's right. So like when you weld it in, it's yeah. not too clamped together. Yeah, so. if we welded it all together and then you can't get your arms in, that would suck. Be a major issue. Frames all coated up. Got a couple pictures when we were over at DTM and Hawks getting her coated. It's like a battleship gray color. Turned out really nice. So now uh, I got the other bolts that I need. Um, I got the subframe bushings for these in the freezer. So I'm hoping in the next couple days here can get those pressed in and go from there. <laughs> 